Creating CSS flip cards is not only an incredible space saver on websites, but they also look cool and can lead to greater engagement and user experience. And they're very easy to create. In fact, we only need five simple blocks of CSS code. A container, the card, the front, the back, and a hover pseudo class. I'll explain these in more detail as we progress. Right now, we'll just give each of these divs a class and set the basic HTML. First, the div class main container will hold all the other elements. Let's give it a position of relative, width 250 pixels, height 320 pixels, and for now a background of green. There's our main container. Second, the div class the card will hold the front and back elements. Let's give it a position of absolute, width and height of 100%, and a transform style with value preserve 3D. I'll explain this shortly. Let's also set the transition values for a smoother animated flip. And let's give it a background of yellow. There's the card in the main container. If we reduce the size of the card, you can see the structure a little bit better. Let's restore the size and move to the front and back elements. Third, the div class the front is the front facing element. Set its position to absolute, width and height to 100%, and a back face visibility with value hidden, and a background of yellow and text color of dark gray. I'll explain this property shortly as well. Fourth, let's copy and paste the front element and rename it the back, since both elements are almost identical and only a few properties need changing. In fact, the only difference is to add a transform rotate y 180 degrees property value pair to the back element, so that the back element flips over to the front once we move the cursor away. And that's all it really takes. Let's add some text to make it easier to see the front and back sections. Fifth and finally, we add the hover pseudo class to the card div and give it the property value pair transform rotate y 180 degrees. You can now see the entire effect, including the main container and the card elements. So let's remove the backgrounds we used in our early explanation. And there's our flip card effect, showing just the front and the back elements. Let's take a closer look at the code to understand what's happening. The main container simply holds all the elements and determines the size of the card. The card element holds the two front and back elements and also controls the mouse hover action via the hover pseudo class. The front element is the front facing element which shows as the default face. The back element is the reverse side of the card and shows when a user hovers over the card. The hover pseudo class controls this flip. With respect to the card element, if we take away the preserved 3D value, all we get is a reverse of the front element. The back doesn't show because the 3D layer is now gone. This is kind of like a 2D flip with no back layer. Think of it like a sandwich with two slices of bread, one at the top and one at the bottom. Without Preserve 3D, we only flip the top slice back and forth. With Preserve 3D, we flip the entire sandwich. The Backface Visibility property controls the reverse side of just that div. Keeping either visible will conflict with the 3D layers and cause this flicker.
And that is the mechanics behind the flip effect. Let's style up our front div a bit more to see that the front and the back are in fact two separate layers. If we round the corners of the front, the back does not get affected since the back is an independent layer or element on its own. That means the front and the back can be styled individually. So let's set the back to green with white text. And there's the result. Achieving the CSS flipping effect is quite simple. So please give it a shot to see how it works and how you can use it on your own websites. As always, the code snippet for this tutorial is in the comments. And if you have any questions, please ask. Thanks for watching and CSS you next time.